other side. My pronouns are they, them. And this is Cliffside Permaculture. What are you doing up there, Crazy? Well, I came out and immediately had a sneezing fit, but we're gonna try this again. This is what evaporation can do. Okay, item one, there's cracks at about this level and the pond still does leak down to that point. Um, but this cardboard was significantly underwater at first. It's the bigger cracks at the top that seem to be letting it out. Also, this is still mud here and I wanna dig out the sludge that, I, that this pond's been dealing with. So what I wanna do is put you on fast mode and deepen the pond while it's actually dry right now. May as well take advantage, huh? So I will see you over in fast forward. Okay, so if I'm perfectly honest, my hope keeps being that I might, by the way, that's incense, because at one point I realized I was like knee down, just surrounded in mosquitoes, which is about normal up here, honestly. But um, keep hoping that I'll hit the water table. These have measure markings on them. Let me go see what it comes to. Thirty-nine inches it says, maybe forty.
So that's like a three and a half foot deep pit <laughs> at the center of an otherwise shallow pond. Um, it's only a couple feet deep from the otherwise bottom of the pond. That also does winterize it quite nicely. I do want to keep digging because I still really hope that I'll hit the water table and then we'll be getting water both from the overflow on the rain barrel and from below. That would be ideal. I'm not sure how deep I'd need to go or if I'm capable of going deep enough, but I would really like to try. I did order some copper spray for the apple tree over there. I have not trimmed it yet. Could probably do that today as well. But um, that's just what I thought was a good idea, because you see all this. This also kind of smells, but this is definitely like mud. And it had been accumulating to about a foot and a half and settling into the deepest part of the pond, which wasn't helping with it becoming clear. It was definitely sludge. So I'm really hoping that with that cleared out, because it, it does become straight clay at that point. You can also see it went from red clay rock. And these are rocks that you can easily break with a hand to starting to transition to this shale colored clay. Just, just at the end. So I've gone through couple types of bedrock there I would say and that that is promising as far as will I eventually get a rising well that's what this hilltop's known for so I would think eventually we'll find out all right well thank you so much for visiting the cliffside which is over there. <laughs> this has been permaculture. Take care. Bye.